we have here an X870E ASRock Tai Chi motherboard. I purchased this from Newegg as an open box. And it's displaying some really interesting behavior that I wanted to show. I'm going to turn on the power supply first. I don't have anything plugged into this motherboard except one stick of RAM. It's G Skill Trident. Nothing except the HDMI and the keyboard in the motherboard. If you'll pay attention to the debug codes there. And I'll try to get the monitor in here. Posts. Okay, same motherboard, same setup. All I did is turn it off. So now I'm just going to use this. I've got this formatted as a master boot partition or master boot record. Drive FAT32 with only some BIOS images on it. Nothing else. Now let's watch what happens when you boot. Azrock splash screen 4D every time. Okay, this time I've got nothing in USB. I have a Gen 4 NVMe drive, one terabyte, that I pulled from an operating Windows 11 install. Four D. Watch this. I'll just remove this draft. So it's got no storage, no USBs, just a keyboard and HDMI, one stick of RAM. And it posts. AB means awaiting input. Now I flashed, this is 3.04. I flashed 3.1, 3.15, 3.2, 3.3. Same thing on all of them. It initially would not even flash BIOS. I had to remove the CMOS battery, which is a total pain. This is my test bench. And to get to the CMOS battery, you have to remove this plate. And it has four screws, five screws that are available from underneath. So you guessed it, you gotta take the whole thing apart to get the CMOS battery off. Genius. Anyway, anybody's got any ideas or suggestions, I'm about to reach back out to Newegg and say, hey, I expected a, an open box item to at least work. I mean, this is obviously an RMA, needs fixing, not an open box operational unit. We'll see how it goes. I just wanted to do this one more time to show you this as well. So with the pre-installed Windows 11 on the M2 drive here, it'll get the same 4D error. 
and you think, oh, well, the drive's bad, or it's not reading the drive. But watch this. Four D. Let's turn it off and try one more thing. Okay, now while it's booting up, I'm gonna hit delete. I can get into BIOS and it sees my disk, Windows Boot Manager, but it won't boot. It won't boot a USB boot drive. It won't boot an NVMe with Windows already installed on it. It's beyond me. Now I've come up here and remembered some things that I wanted to show everybody. I've tried also with this Corsair Vengeance RAM. I've tried all the different slots in different orders, a single stick, and I've actually got my Windows boot USB here this time. So what you can do again is not let it get to that drive and go into the BIOS. And I'll show you the other settings that I've been messing with from the boards. I've seen the same error online. And yeah, I did a little chat GPT on it as well. But let me see. The secure boot. I've turned on and off, disabled right now. I've turned on compatibility. Can't remember exactly where it is right now. I've tried just about everything that I'm aware to make this board read either a USB boot drive or an NVMe drive, and it just won't do it. The only way it will post is if there's nothing connected to it at all.